Once you've entered all the assignments into your Blackboard gradebook, the next thing you want to do is to enter grades. And there are three methods for doing that. One, you can click on an item name, and an item is an individual assignment in the gradebook. If you click on the name, which is a link at the top of each category, you can enter grades there. If you click on an individual empty spot for a student, for instance, here's an empty spot for the research paper for John Doe. If I click on that, I can enter a grade in that spot. And thirdly, I can simply click on an individual's name and enter grades for that individual. Let's start off by clicking on the item name. There are three grades left to enter for the research paper, so I will go up and click on the research paper link. Then I will click on item grade list. I can see that there are three grades left to add, so I will put those in now. And I use the tab key to move down the list. Then click submit, and it's successful. Click OK and the rest of the grades now are in for the research paper. Let's add the grades for the test. I will simply click the blank space here for John Doe. It brings up just this assignment for only John Doe and I will type his grade in here and click Submit. Once I get back to the gradebook, I can see that his grade is entered, so I'll go ahead and enter the next two. There. Lastly, we can simply enter grades by typing on the individual's name. So I'll click on the first student's name, choose user grade list and for this student here are all the assignments for which I can assign grades for him and the only one I want to assign a grade for right now is the podcast so I will type that in and it tells me the number of points possible and the current average grade click submit when I go back, I see that student's grade is now entered, and I can repeat that process for each individual student. <laughs> now what happens if we make a mistake? For instance, I just gave a student 100 points where only 70 points are possible. Well, you can do that. It will let you put in more points than you should. But to change that, I can simply click on this grade. And come up here and where it says override manual grade, I'm going to type in the correct score and click submit. And there. The erroneous grade is removed and the appropriate grade is there. And that's it. You can enter grades by entering grades for an assignment by clicking on an empty spot here. These two, this equal sign is really a null indicator that there's nothing there. Or I can click on the individual user's name and enter the grades at that point. One of the key benefits of putting the grades in the gradebook is that students can check their progress at any time during the course of a semester. And in general, many of us tend to put the cumulative total there, but you have options on how to display uh, the student's progress in the total column. We can change this to a percentage. So I'll click on Total, Modify Gradebook Item, and change this drop-down box here to Percentage. We click Submit. Then once I get back to the gradebook, now I can see roughly this is perhaps a little bit more intelligible in terms of a, uh, a raw numeric score, but there's something wrong with these percentages. These seem kind of low, and if you notice, 
the students' grades in terms of points possible are actually pretty high. What's the problem here? Well, the problem is, as I've configured it right now, this percentage is taking into its calculations these assignments which have not been graded yet. Well, I can tell it to exempt these items and get a more accurate percentage here. So I'm going to go back and make that adjustment. I'll click on Total, Modify Gradebook Item, and this time I'm going to say Yes to exempt items that have not been graded. And then simply click Submit one more time. Now when I go back to the gradebook, I have this running total in place and these are accurate percentages. They are only using the posted grades to calculate an existing percentage and when grades are entered into the, each of these next assignments, the percentage will automatically be adjusted to reflect the student's current standing.